Hey, what's up guys? This is part two of creating multiple markers with leaflet maps in your Ionic 3 application. Ionic 4 is about to be released, I guess, with uh, all this capacitor and all that new stuff they have been talking about. Anyway, it's still in alpha stage, I think, the capacitor. It will then move to beta stage and then uh, by the time it comes out, it will be another like several months. So uh, anyway, uh, let's continue from where we left off. In our last video, we saw how to uh, create multiple markers and then uh, place them on your leaflet map, right? In this video, we'll see how to store those markers onto Firestore and then bring all those markers back to our application, I mean, back to our maps whenever they get loaded. So uh, what I'm trying to say here is whenever you open your application, you'll automatically see all the markers that you have saved so far, okay? And uh, if time perm, if there is time, we'll also see how to color those markers. That is, we can provide markers of different colors. That's what I'm trying to say here. Uh, let's get started. Before we get started, guys, the course that I was talking about a few days back, like a week back uh, on creating desktop applications with Angular, Firestore and Electron, that course is now available on Udemy as well. A lot of people were requesting me and asking me to put it up on Udemy as well. I guess it's, yeah, it's now available on Udemy, guys. And uh, if you click the link, uh, if you buy using the link in the description below, you will obviously get a very good discount. Uh, Udemy already provides a lot of discounts, I guess. They always provide some sort of flash sale or something on their side. Anyway, back, back, let's get back to our uh, part two of multiple markers. Uh, this is where we left off exactly, right? And uh, now what we'll do is we'll first install Firebase and uh, Angular Fire 2. Okay. npm install Firebase Angular. Uh, this is done guys, I have simply imported uh, Angular Fire module on Angular Fire Store module which we will be making use of. This is my web configura uh, Firebase configuration and then I am initializing the application, that's it. No fancy stuff here. Uh, now let's just create a new provider, okay. Onyx G provider uh, markers. Let this go on. Uh, meanwhile what I will do is I will get into home.ts and then instead of adding this marker here, once this I get this, I'll simply uh, comment this out and then uh, import that. Remove this. Remove this as well. And go over here, import okay, and then create an instance. Cool, right? Add a method now, save marker and uh, Coords. Okay, it will receive a couple of coordinates. And what I will do is uh, this dot afs dot add uh, collection right dot collection markers dot add uh, mm, latitude coords dot latitude longitude chords dot longitude and uh, I'll simply add a message as well message hey buddy okay and uh, dot then alert add cool right so this will save our marker now we'll write another method to get all our markers get all markers return this dot afs dot markers sorry not markers collection markers dot value changes this will return an observable right so it's cool right uh, let's get back to uh, home where is it pages home.ts and uh, here what i'll do is uh, marker providers dot save marker coordinates of coordinates of zero we'll also have a function to load markers 
load markers this function will be the one that's actually placing markers on our uh, map now so what i'll do is uh, uh, i need to subscribe to that observable that returns all these markers right so this dot afs dot not afs dot marker service markers provider dot get all markers dot subscribe uh, markers so i'll give it as and uh, the start uh, mark not the start markers dot for each single marker this will iterate through the list of markers uh, all, all i need to do is simply place those markers and that's it right cool now instead of this coordinates i simply need to do uh, single marker dot latitude and here as well single marker dot longitude and uh, the alert i can simply give single marker dot message what was that message only right yeah message uh, cool now whenever I click I'll get that message and this will be added to the thing as well now all I need to do is call load markers whenever this loads up so after load map uh, loading the map I'll just do this dot uh, load markers cool right now let's run this app and see what happens first of all let's check whether this has been added markers provided is added, provider is added here as well so let's go on and uh, run this application give me a minute guys let me connect my mobile device here cool right our app got loaded up just fine and uh, let's now try add a mark try adding a marker and see if it gets saved on firestore so i'll just type uh, yeah wow a marker got added right cool let's check whether this got added onto firestore as well i'll refresh this cool our marker got added here as well right and the message is he buddy let's try tapping on this to see if we get a message like that yeah we get a message he buddy right so our marker is saved on firestore and it works fine uh, that's right now let's try adding a marker somewhere else we'll try adding a marker on uh, sydney sydney okay and i'm tapping on save wow it got another marker got added on sydney as well right and uh, it got saved in firestore as well see there are two markers now one is uh, berlin and the other one is sydney right so yeah this is so now uh, i'll just show you what would happen if we just you know close the application and then log in back again i mean open it again uh, at the same time i'll change one of this hi buddy to some other value uh, some other value okay my point is you could save messages or whatever details you need to add along with the marker in that same particular entry for the marker in firestore as well guys that's my point exactly uh, i'll open the application once again wow as you can see the markers got loaded automatically i didn't do anything the markers got loaded automatically right let's try tapping on these markers now one is showing hi buddy as you can see the berlin one the sydney one is showing some other value these two markers are independent of each other and they just got loaded from firestore right so you could add markers pertaining to events like your birthday or uh, uh, whatever some other event that you want for uh, happening at a particular place or you could just mark uh, add a marker for a specific location like a coffee shop uh, university or library or something and then uh, all those markers would get stored on firestore independently and then they will get loaded on the map seamlessly okay uh, the ideal way of storing a marker, what I would do is I would just use geolocation first and then uh, use geolocation, find the use, user's location, that is the device's location and then uh, get all the markers around that location, around that particular location rather than getting all the markers on the entire world, I would rather do that so that it looks more cool. I'm just giving you an idea. 
you can try it on your own if you couldn't do it kindly uh, drop a comment here and i'll all make a video on the same uh, so yeah guys this is how you store multiple markers with firestore uh, you saw that it was pretty much easier right easy to do this right uh, uh, you could just add colored markers as well i'll show you one example just one example the video is already too long i'll just show you one example and then uh, we'll wrap up see this is the library that we'll be using to add a colored marker on our leaflet map guys this is pretty much easy to use rather we just we tell this is for the green icon right i'll show you the green icon now just copy this entire thing okay and then paste it in our home.ts over here wait cool right uh, not yell this is leaflet here simply inside uh, after this array give icon green icon cool right now run the application once again wow you saw that right our markers got changed to green colored ones that's it guys it's pretty much simple now what you can do is the next step what you can try doing is uh, add this color as well here okay uh, for example if you have like a, a coffee shop you need a red marker and a bus stop you need a blue marker and for a, a what else a, a restaurant you need a gray marker something like that okay add these three stuff here inside this you just add a, a location type a bus stop or location type a coffee house or something and uh, what you can do is get into the code here and then simply add a if statement here you simply add a if statement uh, saying if single marker dot sorry marker not not even here if single marker dot uh, event place even uh, not even play location type equals coffee house and then you can simply add that particular color marker here over here right instead instead of this green icon if it's for coffee house if it's a brown marker then simply add a brown icon you would obviously need to have a variable like this instead of green icon you need to have this entire variable in brown and uh, instead of 2x green here you need to add is brown marker even available i am simply saying brown, brown. Okay, brown is not available. Suppose orange. Okay, I'm just making a point here. I'm not exactly uh, focused on the colors here. I'm just making a point. You can add that particular color so that different colored markers appear on your leaflet maps. So obviously, you could make markers of different sizes. You could make square markers. You could make markers with icons, font awesome icons, uh, stuff like that. I've done that actually in an application. So yeah, uh, that's my point exactly. You could make different markers in your leaflet applications as well store these markers on fire so now in this video i just showed you right you could make different markers store uh, markers on fire store store those markers with particular details on fire store so that whenever you click on that marker you can obviously take the user to a different page showing all those details uh, make cool stuff like that i mean that's my point here and you could also make different colored fancy markers as well uh, if you need more uh, videos on explaining more of these awesome features awesome stuff you could do with this leaflet maps and markers kindly let me know in the comments below and i'll uh, try to make more videos on this guys i actually have uh, planned a lot of content for you guys also uh, guys this is just like a preview or something preview uh, let me know if you would like to watch videos on native web application no sorry native mobile app development as well uh, as regards to android and uh, ios uh, so far we have just seen mobile apps with ionic right it's a hybrid application right let me know if you want to see native mobile application development as well a lot of guys have been asking me that's why i'm asking you uh, so yeah guys uh, if you like this video hit the like button if you really like what i'm doing on this channel hit the subscribe button uh, share this video with your friends help them too and uh, yeah buy, buy my course it's a it's a like a I, I really enjoyed making that course it takes you step by step of building a complete application from scratch a desktop application 
using angular electron and firestore and uh, it's available for a great discount in udemy just click on the link below and buy it uh so yeah guys talk to you guys in my next video bye